This is the internal assembly. We have the axle. Note there's a longer end with a groove on each side. Insert that into the jig with the groove facing up. And the first item for the assembly is the planet cage assembly. Make sure that it easily turns both directions. Second item is the gear ring assembly. And you want to lay in some grease of the Castrol CLS00 in the gear ring. Then the clutch spring and the clutch. Put some grease on the clutch and inside the clutch and a little on the outside. Push the clutch down while holding the pawls and note the holes in the gear ring assembly. We'll keep the clutch retracted for the rest of the procedure. You can see down inside of it the... Then is the ball ring assembly. And lay some grease into the ratchet ring area of the ball ring assembly. Hold the paws down and it should only rotate clockwise and you'll hear the ratchets working. The assembly is symmetrical. From this point forward we're going to reference the front side. Next is the shift cam. If you notice there are two internal tabs. One is near a valley and the other is near a peak. We're going to align the shift cam dog near a valley with the front groove. Then is the driver assembly. And it should rotate counterclockwise with minimal resistance. Next is the shift actuator assembly. There is a small notch in the inner part of it, which will also align with this front part of the axle. Then the right hand cone threads all the way down. Tighten the right hand cone down till it just touches the bearings. Then retract the clutch retaining pins from the tool, install the shift selector tool on the shift actuator, and rotate, rotate it counterclockwise 90 degrees. Then install the indicator washer and the lock nut, which is 3.2 millimeters thick. and hold the right hand cone hold the right hand cone with a 16 millimeter cone wrench and tighten the lock nut to 8.5 newton meters remove the assembly from the jig and check for free rotation at the ball ring and at the axle finally install the dust cap and you're done